Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. My name's Tracy and this little video shows you the yarn that leapt into my basket while I was shopping or taking taking shelter from the rain. Just popped into hobby craft and I had to take pity on this yarn. It dived in my basket and you know, you can't leave it behind, can you? It's like little orphans and you've got to be kind. So I didn't get much, to be honest with you. I didn't go crazy because, you, as you know, I recently did a hobby craft shop and um, also quite a substantial um, King Cole yarn shopping trip, which you've seen half of, but not yet the other half. So I did get a little bit, <clears throat> but I didn't really go completely nuts. Just gotten a few nice little bits. So, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's over here, I think, somewhere. And um, the little notification bell. And you'll be informed when there are new videos. So, I didn't only buy yarn. I, um, I bought some Christmas presents today. And I bought some makeup. And some boots and stuff like that. I was supposed to not be buying stuff for me. But, uh, <clears throat> so what did I get? Stop stalling, woman, yeah, here you ask. Well, I went there specifically, really, to get this. I wanted some more of this. It's the um, Winner Takes the Shawl 150 gram ball. And it's very, very thin. It's supposed to be a three weight, but it is very thin. So I don't think it is. So yeah, it's meant to make a shawl. I don't believe it will. It's 150 grams. So I didn't think one would be enough. So I decided to get um, another three of this um, grey mix. That's what it's called. So I've got four now. Four altogether of the grey, black, white mix. It's just called grey mix, this one. Let's see, what's it say? Um, the total length is 735 metres. And... It's 98% acrylic and 2% metallic, but it is absolutely lovely and soft and you wouldn't, you don't feel any scratch from the Lurex in that at all. So I got four now of that one, so I've got an extra three. I did buy one more of the pinks. Now this one is in my giveaway, my Rocktober giveaway. Um, so this one is in there with some other yarns but it's got all different colour pinks inside. It's quite different. So yeah, just I, I, as I've given that one away, I wanted to try and, um, well, I've only got one, so I won't be doing a great deal with it. But this is called Pink Mix. Same details, but called Pink Mix. And it's got that lovely purpley colour as well, but there's magenta and light pink and a right dusky kind of pink in there as well really lovely colours so yeah very pretty and I also wanted to add to my red one um, I've got one one of these on the shelf because last time I went I got one of each colour so I've got one of the greys one of the pink and one of the reds so I did there were other colours but I wanted more quantity of the ones I've got so I got one of these and this is the reds and it's called rainbow and when i looked earlier i saw it is in fact rainbow look at that you see just the the reds on the outside but it's rainbow and i remember some time ago i made something with groovies in the yarn it was a hat it was actually one of crystal bag of days hats and um, I used that rainbow yarn from uh, groovies in the yarn and all of these colors were in that absolutely gorgeous I loved them so um and here it is it's thinner yes but it's got that sparkle with it as well so I've got another two of those so I've got three of these all together I have to show you these it's not yarn made with yarn but it isn't yarn and it's the the k word sorry Madonna but look at these aren't they just so cute so yes, couldn't resist them. 
had to get those aren't they adorable so yeah got them uh get warm so what else did i buy ah yeah i got one of these it's the sirdar number no. one aaron stone washed which is a four weight then i love this this is the purple now last time i was there i bought blue and the time before that i got the purple so this is the blue i took one off my shelf and pulled the on band off but that's the blue and this is the mauve i absolutely love it it's so so soft unbelievably soft it has that kind of feel of the feels like butter it does feel like it's just so soft anyway when i bought this last time and then i got this and i put them side by side on the shelf i thought this one had one less so i picked one of these up I'm beginning to wonder if it was this one never mind next time i might just even the score i don't really need it for anything but it's just so lovely so i've got another one of those just to make it up and i don't know if you noticed in my shopping video how little they had on the shelves how much was actually missing it was unbelievable so then i decided to get because i've been toying with the idea of making a ripple blanket for the baby as many of you know i'm going to be uh have a new grandbaby and her name's going to be a river river rose and she's due um soon now so I decided I wanted to, I've made lots of blankets, but I wanted to make a ripple blanket or chevron blanket. And I spotted this. Now it's going to focus on the colour. Inside there, that's probably a little bit more true. It's a lovely, really, really lovely kind of peach. It's hard to, to get a good, it's just bouncing. The light's bouncing off it. I wonder if I turn my light off, what it will do. Bear with me. Oh, that might be better. I might actually look a bit weird myself, like ghostly, but it does show the yarn a little bit better. So I got two of these really lovely peach colour. It's still not seeing it in its in its glory. Beautiful, absolutely got lovely colour. Then I got two of that's called peach, by the way. I did look. And I got this, which is called barbie pink barbie pink and then two of this light blue that's what it's called light blue so yeah these are the knit craft which is their own brand i'll put the light back on because i do look a bit bizarre everyday dk 50 gram ball 100 percent acrylic ultra soft and i'm looking for the yardage there we go 137 meters but these are just lovely and i've got lots and lots of these pastel shades so i just wanted some extra ones to go with it now i hear the cat trying to get back in again what is it with her i couldn't resist giving these a try this is the twist and shout and i did show you this on the way in and on the way out it looks a lot more sparkly holding it here than it really really is it is sparkly but it doesn't look quite as sparkly as that. Now this one is called purple blue. And when you look inside, there is blues, which is kind of, kind of yummy. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? And I bought one of the black gray, which I think is just called gray mix. I want to say gray, yep, yeah, gray mix. But I love that. That is just so nice. Again, it's not as sparkly as it looks when I show it like this. It really picks up the light. But in reality, it you see more of the colours than you can see the sparkle. I probably should have got more than one of these. But um, I just thought I could make some nice fingerless gloves for Christmas or something for someone. But they are lovely really nice i i just couldn't resist them but they were four pounds per skein so that's that's really why i was a little laid back i thought i'd see how they work up now these are three for two and they're seven pounds each so for 14 pounds you get three 
of these they're 150 grams each quite a lot of yardage and these are one pound 20 each um, and that um, isn't the best kind of price for 50 gram balls I've ever seen but ain't bad not bad at all and it's lovely stuff so that's 120 these are five pounds something but Zerdar is always more expensive for some reason so then I did I just spot one more yarn now do you remember like last time I went I bought this catch a wave and I got it in this lovely kind of pastely snazzy rainbow type color well I spotted this and it reminded me of an, a sea urchin <laughs> does that look like a sea urchin or does that look like a sea urchin it really does doesn't it it's called catch a wave it's two pounds per skein they are 50 grams and it says that it's Aran weight but when I used this a little while ago I made a swatch to see if three colours that I was doing would actually work out I was going to make a pocket shawl and I made a swatch with DK and this was one of the yarns that I picked up and it worked perfectly it's not Aran it is definitely definitely not a four weight it's got a crinkliness to it but even so it doesn't bulk up like a four weight but when I saw these three little urchins just sitting there like this, I thought they looked so much like sea urchins, which I couldn't remember the name of at the time. I kept thinking, is it coral? Does it remind me of coral? Does it remind me of some kind of shell? But then I thought, no, it's it's an urchin. It does actually look just like a sea urchin. So that's all I got. I say all, it's enough. But um, yeah, I was um, remarkably laid back and... Um, restrained didn't go crazy I could easily have done even though there was an awful lot of empty shelves which um, I have no reason for it to be honest they've just not just hobby craft I find that whatever shop we go in lately don't seem to be ordering in um, even home base as you know we're doing a lot of DIY and when we go it's like they're slowly selling all their stock but they're not replacing that stock and so it seems I don't know maybe it's just that there's an awful lot of crafting going on the weather's changed again so perhaps people are getting stuff in so that they will be able to uh, you know have something to do should we find ourselves under tighter restrictions whether that's it, whether they're just not ordering so much and just in case of downturns or that they get, you know, have to close up shop again. I really don't know, but I, I liked what I got. I really did. And um, the only thing I'm now thinking should have got more of this. I nearly didn't buy it at all, but it's just, it was so nice, so soft. And um, now I'm thinking, you know, one skein really shouldn't you have got more than that but we'll see i'll know when i use it so thanks for watching stay safe everyone take care and i'll be back tomorrow with a rocks chat and possibly as gary's back at work tomorrow i'll be doing a, a live stream the only reason i've popped on now this is a uh, kind of we're having a a day together and a, and a date night so um i could do this because gary spends forever in the bath so I said I'd quickly get on and do a video while he is in there. Because we've both been rained on. So thanks for watching and stay safe. Take care and I will see you soon. Bye for now.